Hi, I'm Christine. Hi, my name's Felice. And hi, my name's Ken. And I'm Chris's brother. Hi, my name is Annie. <laughs> hi, I'm Tim Munag, and I'm Michelle's brother. My name is Krisha, and I'm Chris's sister. I can't pinpoint one specific memory because I had so many memories with them. So I always have fun and I always enjoy their company whenever I'm with them. They'll be coming off dates where Chris would just come back and hang out and he has this that, that stupid look on his face like you know like something great just happened to him. And you know he has that smirk and like uh here we go. So Chris, how wonderful was the date? Man, it was so, it was it was beautiful, man. I'm like, the way Chris uses superlatives to to talk about how great being with Michelle is, it puts a smile on my face because I know that for years he was looking for a girl at least you know you know that could be even comparable, and he found I think he won he found the winning jackpot. I just know that in a lot of the memories they were always very happy together and always brought out the best in each other. A uh, fun memory I have is this past Mother's Day. We took our, um, our mothers to uh, Disney Storytellers Cafe at the Grand California Hotel and Spa. And it was just a really nice time with family. So it was really great to see um, him being a family man and having that uh, sense of value. I have more memories with Michelle because we've actually traveled together. So going to New York, one funny thing was Michelle was carrying her little passport thing and going through security. She kept beeping and they almost actually made her go into the next room and, you know, strip search her because something kept beeping and she couldn't find it. Uh, it was when Grandma passed away. Um, we, Chris, Michelle, um, Ken and myself went to Chicago to visit um, and to be with family. and. I think the reason why it's my most fondest memory is because is most fondest fond sorry cut <laughs> okay um, I think it's my most fond the fondest memory because it made me realize how much they've rubbed off on each other um, when I first met Michelle she was very reserved and seeing her in the atmosphere with all her cousins and just family in general. She was just very laid back and she was quick with the jokes and it, that's very a big, that's a side of my brother that I can definitely see in her. Um, where's the advice? Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> As Full House used to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, just live your life to its fullest and together. Uh, just take care of each other and I wish you guys all the happiness in the world. Uh, good luck, laugh, laugh a lot, and just have fun, I think. You have to take things one day at a time. It's funny because I really, I don't necessarily have advice because I feel like they work so well together and they they're really good at communicating. I think that they'll work through anything. So I guess my only advice is to continue the constant conversations and the the dates and the you know just keep that keep that spark going. I mean they've they've kept it going for 11 years. So here's to 90 more. You know, um, to just always stay true to each other, love each other, and um, no matter what. You know, stick by their side. Be happy and smile. <laughs>